Wake up, Terra. It's time for the Millennium Fair. Wait, no. This is wrong. This is Magus Plays. Welcome back. Yeah, that whole slave crown thing, not so hot. Yeah, not... They had total control over you. Fan fiction. Fan fiction again. That's a good thing. A mysterious young woman, born with the gift of magic, and enslaved by the Justelian Empire. Now, I'm actually going to name everyone proper. None of this butts or whatever people seem to like to name characters. So this is Terra, or Tina in Japan. Because Tina was not weird enough in America. Who knows? Cut to outside the house. And 16-bit dog barks. And hammering. Yeah, because you're not harboring any weird witch, or terrorist, or whatever. GTFO! GTFO! Yes, listen to him. Nope, I'm actually not going to listen to him, though. I'm going to go talk to the clock. Hey, clock, how's it going? Do you have... Thank you! You have an elixir for me! Remember, kids, always talk to clocks. You never know when they're going to give you an elixir. Pretty much every clock in this game gives you an elixir. The grandfather style, not the little one. I don't know if that works in real life. You might want to try it out, but they have to be the grandfather... Style, as I said, not the normal style. Yes, and walking along a bridge where everybody can see you. Just so smart, Terra. Just, just keep moving. Keep moving. And we're walking. And battle! And we're running away. As I said, the, the whole point of this is a kind of low-level walkthrough. Not walkthrough, playthrough. And that involves running from everything everything. And it would have helped if I moved her to the back row, so doing that now. I'm still walking and hoping I'm not attacked. And let's save the game. Saving. Saving, yep. Alright, saved. Back. And again with the battle. Run, run away. Bravely run away, away. Alright, now you see those chests that I'm skipping? They actually get upgraded later on in the game. You can actually wait twice to get them upgraded, and I recommend waiting until the last possible time to get them. And running, 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 and getting hit. Alright, we're almost there. And by almost there, I mean it's time for her to take some really bad acid. Don't, no, no, you shouldn't have dropped... I guess you don't drop acid, you drop Terra. Oh no. Now everything's starting to kick in. Sweet little magic user. With this slave crown, you'll be all mine. them all to a crisp. But no, he 
he's not a whiny crybaby only after his mother like other Final Fantasy villains. Or a villain you don't understand why you're even fighting like others. You start to hate him. You really do. You really do. And obvious Nazi references here. So I could make... Uh, no, I'm not going to. Because nothing says a great time like a acid trip Nazi reference. And we're going to end it there. Up next will be Tara still sitting there. So thank you again for watching. See you next time.